Yay, it's the summer sales. Everything is 25% off on the Blender market. But there are only 3 days left, so let me share with you what I think are the best add-ons for car animations. All the links will be in the description. Let's start with launch control. It's simply the best car rig out there. You install the thing in just one click. You have pre-made animations ready, real-time physics, headlights management, and I just made a complete review of this tool. So if you want additional information, you will find the link in the description. The RBC add-on has a new version, which makes it one of the best out there. The rig is easy to set up. You have tons of options to rig different types of vehicles, including motorbikes, trucks, but this add-on really shines in the simulation part. Everything is simulation based, the drifts, the jumps, the collisions, the car animations, and now in this new version, you can add a path or a guide that your vehicle will follow. It means that it's your best option if you need this kind of animation in your projects. My animation course The Ride is not really an add-on, but it provides everything you need to start your car animation journey. It's the perfect course if you're a beginner in Blender or if you want to get better at car animation. We will cover everything from the basic stuff to the advanced car animations. Not only you will get 64 videos and 11 hours of lessons, but you will also get tons of assets, buildings, cars, city props, etc. And my add-on HDRI Magic to create realistic animations. And on top of that, I will personally be there to assist all my students when they need help. The traffic add-on is a must if you like cars. You get 76 vehicles, planes, boats, two wheels, train, trucks, and of course cars, a lot of cars, ports, four wheels, urban, and the list goes on. The assets are photorealistic, so great for animations and stills. I particularly love the fact that you can now easily add dirt, scratches and bumps to your vehicle. Not only that, you can now animate the car directly within the add-on. When you're creating a car animation, chances are you will need people on the streets, on the roads or wherever you want to add some realism to your scene. The procedural crowd add-on is perfect for that. In a few clicks, you can have people walking on your sidewalks or in your stadium. You'll get around 20 animated models with random clothing colors and skin, and low-poly assets for crowd systems, and high-definition ones for the close-up shots. It's worth mentioning that this great add-on is only $13 with the 25% off applied. I designed this city pack for Blender users with low-end computers and users who want light assets for their animations and still compositions. The objects are realistic enough for beautiful animations and at the same time very, very easy for your computers to render and to manipulate in the viewport. You can duplicate and array those creations without slowing your precious PC. And it's only 6 bucks with the 25% off. The Steam K-Pack add-on is a late discovery for me, but boy, I do love it so much. It allows you to easily add animated fog and steam to your scene, and because those are only plain videos, it will not kill your render time. I found those elements to be great for decorating your projects without creating smoke simulations. I will be honest with you guys, I only use the Scene Skies HDRI pack for all my projects. Of course, you can have free HDRIs from Polyheaven or other sites, but you're never sure about the quality and the general look that it will provide. With the Scene Skies HDRIs, I have everything I need in one place. It's more than 48 panoramas at different time of the day. The lights are great, the skies and clouds are beautiful, you have distant mountains only, so it's easy to integrate in your scene without fighting to hide some elements of the HDRI, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. We always need trees, bushes, or grass for our projects. With the Botanic add-on, you have everything in one place. The assets are photorealistic and still fast to render. It's the only vegetation tool I use, and I am more than satisfied with it. And in the last version, you can now easily animate all the assets. That's it for this quick video, guys. Don't hesitate if you have questions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.